Never fail with Silloway Sea Shrimp. Must have equipment for Silloway Sea success. Unlock the secrets to successful Silloway Sea Shrimp keeping with these essential equipment additions. Ensuring stable water parameters for a vibrant, thriving aquarium. Welcome everyone, this is Ray from RW Aquarium Pages. I'm here to share my journey in planted aquariums, shrimp tanks, and everything in between. Silhouette shrimp are a vibrant species of freshwater dwarf shrimp known for their colorful appearance, reminiscence of marine life. Due to their sensitivity to fluctuations in water parameters, it's crucial to provide a stable environment for these beautiful creatures. Drawing from my experience of keeping Sulawesi shrimp since around 2007, I would like to share these three essential devices that have greatly contributed to the success of my Sulawesi aquariums. Consider adding these to your setup for optimal conditions. The first one is a temperature controller. A temperature controller is a highly recommended device for any aquarium that utilizes a heater. They are available in various versions and brands, and these controllers typically feature one or two temperature probes. They alert you when the water temperature becomes too high or too low. Many models offer Wi-Fi notifications, allowing you to receive alerts on your phone if the water temperature changes drastically. By using this monitor, you can ensure that the water remains within the appropriate temperature range. Even though a heater does malfunction, which is not very common, but they can occur, and this acts as an additional layer of protection for your Sulawesi shrimp. The second one is an auto top off system. Sulawesi shrimp tanks maintained at a temperature of 28 degrees Celsius or 84 degrees Fahrenheit experience faster water evaporation compared to lower water temperature setups. Despite having a lid, some evaporation is inevitable. An auto top-off system comes to the rescue by monitoring the water level in your tank using optical or mechanical sensors, or sometimes both. Once the water level drops below the desired threshold, the system automatically replenishes it with water, often using reverse osmosis deionized water, RODI water. It's important to replace the evaporated water with RODI water, which has a base of zero total dissolved solids, TDS. This incremental topping off process helps maintain a stable water parameter, preventing drastic swing caused by significant evaporations. It pumps RODI water when the water level is below the sensor level, keeping the water parameters stable. Topping off an aquarium, always use RODI water. The third item is a pH meter or pH monitor. While some Sulawesi shrimp keepers might debate the importance of pH, my experience suggests it does really matter, especially for more challenging species like the harlequin shrimp. These species thrive in water with a higher pH of around 8.4, resembling their natural habitat. Investing in a pH meter or monitor allows you to keep a close eye on the pH levels. It can alert you if the pH deviates from the desired range prompting you to do a water change with properly adjusted or buffered water to ensure the happiness and the well-being of your Sulawesi shrimp. Some advanced models can offer Wi-Fi alerts, providing real-time notification to your phone, ensuring that you can promptly address any pH-related issue. By incorporating these three devices in your Sulawesi shrimp tank setup, you will significantly increase your chances of successful Sulawesi shrimp keeping. These additions not only contribute to a more stable environment, but also provide a peace of mind, allowing you to enjoy the enjoy the beauty of these species. Do you have any other tips or any advice or any additions or equipment to add to your Sulawesi shrimp tank that will make it more stable? Please comment below as I'd like to discuss this. I absolutely love sharing my experiences, success and failures with everyone. 
It's just so exciting to document my journey in planted shrimp tanks and to share it with others. Stay tuned for more informative videos as I've got plenty of content in store for you. Thanks for watching and listening to my rambles. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day and happy shrimp keeping.